we will learn about gravitational and frictional forces. Have you ever noticed why things that you throw up in the air would come down? How come you don't float off to the space when you jump? In this lesson, we learned the fascinating answers to these questions. In the previous lesson, you learned that force is needed to move an object. You have also learned that the unit of force is named after Sir Isaac Newton. According to legend, Newton was lying under the shade of an apple tree when an apple fell down from the tree and hit his head. He started wondering why the apple fell in the first place. This is how, according to legend, he discovered gravitational force. Now what is this force? Gravity is a force that pulls or attracts objects toward each other. Gravity also prevents objects from floating because it pulls them toward the center of the Earth. The force of gravity on Earth is what gives weight to other objects or any physical body that has mass. It is also gravity that keeps the objects on the ground and causes objects to fall down. Any object that has mass is gravity. Mass refers to the amount of matter present in an object. The bigger the object, the greater is its mass. The gravitational pull is great too. If mass increases, the force of gravity increases. Gravitational force also depends on distance. If distance increases, the force of gravity decreases. With this, always remember to be careful when going down the road when you are running or riding a bike up and down a hill. Your speed accelerates faster because of gravity. Let's have another type of force. Do you know that there are other forces that act on an object when you push or pull it? One of these forces is called frictional force. Friction is a special kind of force that acts in the opposite direction as the applied force. This makes the object resist movement, just like what you can see in the illustration. The amount of friction depends on the kind of surface. If the surface is smooth, less friction is produced. If the surface is rough, more friction is fr produced. There are four types of friction. These are static, sliding, rolling, and fluid friction. Let us know more about them. Let's start with static friction that happens when the surfaces of two objects that are at rest are in contact with each other. The bag on the table, the books on the shelf, and the pencil on the desk have static friction between them, although they are not moving. Next, sliding friction is a type of friction that happens when two solid surfaces slide over each other. When you ride a bike, stepping or pressing on the bike's brakes enable it to stop because of sliding friction. Then let's have rolling friction a type of friction that acts on the rolling object and the surface it comes in contact with. The bowling ball rolling on the alley, the wheels of the skateboard, and the wheels of a moving car all have rolling friction. Lastly is fluid friction that acts on objects that are moving through a fluid such as liquid or gas. Always remember that friction can be very useful but also harmful in some ways. Just be careful and follow road signs or caution. That's all for frictional and gravitational forces. Thank you very much and don't forget to subscribe.